I bet you didn't know that I was randomly hired as a pastry chef when I was in college. I wasn't looking for the job. I didn't even apply for the job. I just happened to be talking to the executive chef at my university. And at the end of the conversation, he says, so you're hired. And I said, excuse me? And he said, well, you wanted a job, didn't you? So without even thinking, I said, yes, sir. And that opened up the door to a dream that I never knew that I had. I worked in a commercial kitchen for four years and truly learned everything that I know now, which isn't a whole lot, but they did teach me everything I know. And one day I made a very special dessert that became the dessert that I was known for. It's the dessert that made me famous, my signature dessert that ended up being something I made every single Thursday. Magic cookie bars. We had magic cookie bar Thursday every single Thursday when I was in college. The students loved it. Literally y'all in the cafeteria, they would line up at the dessert station to get a magic cookie bar. And I haven't made them since I was in college. And so today I'm so excited to finally be sharing my recipe for the famous magic cookie bars. If this is your first time here, I'm Nicole. I'm so glad that you found my channel. Hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any of my videos. I drop new recipe tutorials and vlogs every Friday and I want you as part of the family. Before we get going, give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to learn how to make this dessert and let's get into it. The first step is to start off with our base. Now the base of this magic cookie bar is like a graham cracker crust and it has butterscotch chips in it. It's so good. We're gonna start with half a cup or one stick of butter that is softened and some brown sugar. Get out of there. There we go. Then we're gonna cream this together in a stand mixer or with a hand mixer until it's nice and fluffy. All right, now we're gonna crack one egg. And then about two teaspoons of vanilla. I usually just do a big splash. You can't go wrong with vanilla. And then mix that up. I have to scrape down the sides of your bowl once. All right, now in a large mixing bowl, we're gonna mix together some flour, crushed graham crackers, baking soda, and a little bit of salt. Whisk all that up. All right, now with our mixer on low, we're gonna slowly incorporate our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients. I'm gonna use this little guard so I don't make a mess. And just slowly add it in. All right, our base dough is almost done. Now we're gonna take it off and do this last part by hand. Last, we're gonna add one cup of butterscotch chips into our dough and then using a spatula, we're just gonna fold these in by hand. These butterscotch chips make all the difference, I promise. Now in an eight by eight square baking dish, I've already lined it with some parchment paper or you can just put some oil in it, whatever you wanna do. We're gonna dump out our dough well, that just came out right in one little plop now, didn't it? <laughs> Into our pan, or whoa! Stay put! <laughs> okay, and we're just gonna press it down, make it nice and flat. Try to make it as even as possible, that way when it bakes, it bakes nice and evenly. All right, now we're gonna bake this at 350 for five minutes. Five minutes later. Okay, we took our base out of the oven. It's not all the way cooked, but that's okay because now we have to add all of our toppings. This is the fun part. We're going to add all the goods. I've got some chopped pecans here. We're just gonna add a layer of these. With magic cookie bars, I guess you could get creative and you could really add whatever toppings you want, but the classic magic cookie bars, the ones that I was known for, we always top them with some chopped pecans, chocolate chips, and coconut flakes. It's just a good combo. But hey, if you wanna experiment, I won't be mad. Let me know down in the comments below what you try. Now we're gonna do some chocolate chips. Y'all know me, I never measure my chocolate. Chocolate chips should always be measured from the heart. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna use all of them. Amazing. Finally, some sweetened shredded coconut. These give such a yummy flavor to these bars. Oh! I'm so excited about these. I haven't made these in forever. It's, been, it's literally been years. Wow, this takes me back. Okay, we're just gonna get these all covered up. They're gonna be nice and toasty on top. Okay, and then finally, the magic sauce is sweetened condensed 
milk. This is what's gonna make the bars so ooey gooey and so yummy, and this is literally the most satisfying thing ever. We're just gonna pour this. Oh my gosh, look. Look how thick this is. Are you kidding me? We're just gonna pour this all over the top of our bars. And it doesn't have to be perfect because this is so gooey that when it heats up in the oven, it's just gonna kind of go everywhere and make everything stick together. This is the thickest can of sweetened condensed milk I think I've ever seen in my entire life. Good gravy! Get out of there! Slowly but surely. You're just taking your sweet time, aren't you? Then you can kind of take, ooh, that's still hot. <laughs> don't touch that, kids. Just gonna take my little spatula and you don't have to spread it out too much because again in the oven it's all just kind of gonna melt and goo all together. But I just wanna make sure that my little coconut shreds are mostly covered up. Okay, amazing. Now this is gonna go back in the oven at 350 for about 25 to 30 minutes. You'll definitely see it'll start to get nice and golden on the top. One eternity later. The hardest part about making these magic cookie bars is having the patience enough to wait until they cool. I know you'll be tempted to cut them and dive right into them as they come out of the oven. While I encourage that, I also would recommend waiting until they cool completely because they're so much easier to cut into bars. Because of the sweet and condensed milk, they are extra, extra gooey. So if you let them cool down, they will firm up and they will make these nice little compact bars that are just dense and loaded with sugar. And they're so good and I cannot wait for you to try these. Let's take a bite. <laughs> Oh yeah. Y'all, these take me back to the good old days. My glory days. There's truly nothing better. If you wanna to try to make these magic cookie bars, I've linked the recipe in the description box below. Comment down below what other kinds of desserts and recipes you wanna see here on this channel. I hope you love learning how to make these, y'all. This is literally the dessert that made me famous as a pastry chef when I was in college. Hey, I hope you have the best weekend ever. Before you go, give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button if you're not already part of the family and we'll see you next week. Bye.